Hello, welcome to the uh, 28th annual Ag Media Exhibition. Um, we'll be starting uh, live video tonight to walk through the exhibition. Uh, and then at 7 p.m., um, we will have remarks from yeah. for this year's Ag Media Sarah Justice. If you have any questions at any time, like to see specific work, go ahead and drop comments in the chat uh, on Zoom. I hope you enjoy the show. Yeah, I'm going to go back and then I'm here to the beans. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I like to I don't know if it's or yeah. Uh, 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 Yeah, I'm going to do that. So, class is still going. You're going to do that. 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 You're going
This is how a lot of people it's, it's, it's the same. Very Anyway, that's so long Okay, every single kid in all of my class. You're not going to be there on Tuesday. You said that. Today, you're not going to be there for a week. I'll throw it out. Yes, that's true. But they were all like, don't you have to have any?
Oh, see, she's doing. I was not. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sorry, guys. I'm <laughs> 
When I start to announce, sorry. Like when you start to talk, or when announcing. Is this recording anything? I'm not it. not it's <laughs> <laughs> Okay. All right. All right. Um, I'd like to thank everyone for attending tonight. Um, we're going to go ahead and in just a moment here, we're going to hear from our juror for the show, uh, Sarah Justice. Um, I'd like to encourage everybody to come ahead and move over to this side of the gallery. Um, and we'll just go ahead and move the price from here. Um, I'd like to thank everyone for coming, um, both everyone that's here in person, our students, faculty, uh, community uh, attendees. Um, and I'd also like to thank everybody that's attending online. Um, you'll have to let us know. I hope the volume is good um, and that you can hear everything. So um, welcome to the Northwest Art Center for the 28th annual All Media Exhibition. Um, when the All Media Exhibition was started in 1993 uh, by faculty here at Minot State as a sister show to our paperverse exhibition, it was always uh, an international exhibition. And international artists were always eligible to apply, but that wasn't necessarily something advertised for or encouraged. And we always got a lot of questions uh, as to if international artists could apply to the German shows at Minot State University. Uh, at that point in show's history, they were named the Americas Exhibitions. Um, so it kind of maybe uh, not only creating like a sense of place as to where those exhibitions were, but maybe uh, intimated people that it wasn't an international exhibition. Uh, they were named that in kind of a move to looking towards the new millennium. Uh, in the year 2000. So just this year, uh, we retitled the exhibitions to the international exhibition. So international paperworks and international media in kind of an effort to 
um, you know, bring them to more artists and to, to better kind of realize the scope of those exhibitions because we receive um, wonderful uh, artist entries and artwork from all over the world. And it's really quite a treat to be able to have that here um, at Minot State University and in Minot, North Dakota. Um, you know, as far yeah. from the oceans as we can almost be on this continent. <laughs> um, uh, I'd also like to thank uh, the entities that made this gallery possible and make our programming possible. Um, uh, first and foremost being Minot State University, uh, who just four years ago, and it seems like a shorter time, it's been four years already, um, renovated this wonderful art center um, and dedicated it to one of our long serving faculty, uh, Walter Peel. Um, and then I'd also like to thank the North Dakota Council on the Arts. Um, without their support, uh, we would not be able to make possible uh, programming and exhibitions and bringing this wonderful art to our university. Now I have to uh, get my cheat sheet out. I know. Um, I'd like to take this moment. I'd like to take this moment to introduce our juror uh, for uh, the All Media Show, um, Sarah Justice. Sarah Justice uh, has been on campus for a few days. She did a wonderful figurative sculpture workshop uh, with community members and students um, that I heard was pretty big hit. I think it was pretty good. There was a lot of people who enjoyed it. Um, uh, Sarah is an artist and museum administrator. Uh, she's the executive director of the Paris Gibson Square Museum in Great Falls, Montana. Um, and she's known for her work as figurative sculpture. Um, clay being the medium choice for yes. that. Yeah. Um, Justice earned her Bachelor of Fine Arts from Georgia State University in Atlanta, Georgia, which is cool that you get her all the way up to <laughs> I don't know if you consider that a mistake or not. It depends <laughs> on the day. Um, and received her MFA from the uh, University of Montana. So without further ado, I'd like to have everybody give a big hand wow. Sarah, and you can... <laughs> I must first give a thank you guys for, for being here this evening. And thank you so much for Greg, to Greg for reaching out to me. You know, I met him at MAGDA, which is the Museum Art Galleries and Directors Association. And we do a conference every year. We were in Chico Hot Springs and I had an opportunity to meet him and his lovely wife uh, during that event. And I didn't realize, you know, that he would necessarily go in and take a look at my artwork, you know, and he did. And he reached out to me and, and I think part of the reason he selected me is because I work in many different mediums. So I'm a sculptor, I paint, and I draw. So, you know, over two decades of, of just being an artist and never giving up in my life, I came to, to that and uh, moving in from being a full-time artist back into academia, back now into arts administration. So I'm just really thrilled to be here and have these opportunities as an art administrator to be able to get the opportunity to jury exhibitions. So I'm super honored to be a part of this and getting the opportunity to do that in my career, as well as come here and teach an art workshop. That's a highlight. I get to leave the office and my desk and actually scroll for a while. So that was a huge gift. So thank you for that. During exhibitions, especially in the age of COVID and a time where artwork isn't here present, where you get to see it in person, you're doing everything digitally. I find that super challenging. There were 170 works of artwork that were submitted and I was only able to select approximately 40 pieces out of 187. These artworks all had merit in my opinion, every one of them. And there was so much talent and it takes a lot of time. You think, oh, maybe I can get this done in a day or something like that. No, we must sit and rest with every piece, select, reselect, relook, and then also try to come up with a cohesive, what's the meaning, what's the purpose, what do I want this show to look like? Because once again, they're all amazing. They all deserve to be shown in this, but we can't have them all. Um, and so it's a challenging thing to do. So the way I based it, of course, all jury exhibitions are going to, the artwork's gonna be selected because that juror found something worth showing in that, okay? And every jury, juror is gonna come at it from a different perspective. 
As a figurative sculptor and a representational style artist, I'm really drawn to works that touch me to my core or is telling me something. So, and typically it's representational, something that I can relate to fairly quickly, or I wanna dive in and investigate a little further because I don't understand it. I'm drawn to pieces that confuse me a little bit, shock me, cause me to have some kind of emotion. But I'm also really interested in artists that are um, very skilled in their craft. So I'm taking a look at work that is, can be very refined often. Um, and so that, that will get into um, as we go along. So I think at the end of the day, there were about 40 pieces that were selected in this. And it's a range, a lot of figurative work. You're going to see a lot of weight in that. But I think the figurative work that is shown in here, when I say figurative, I mean the human figure often. But there's also a lot of bananas. I don't know what that's all about. I've sculpted bananas too, but I'm like, how did I end up with all the bananas? It just kind of worked out. Right? But I think it gives you a really nice, nice exhibition. I'm super thrilled to be here. And I'm hoping what we're going to do is announce the awards and then maybe go to a couple of those pieces and I can talk to you guys a little bit more about that, maybe get some feedback from you about the work too. You know, it's not all about me telling you what I think about the work. What does the viewer see in the work using visual thinking strategies? You know, what do you see? Why do you say that? And can you tell me a little bit more? Because I think every work in here is quite compelling. It is speaking of what's happening in our world today, but often the human condition you're gonna see in a lot of these pieces. And that is throughout time. That's not just today, that's every day throughout time. So, so yeah. we don't have it. That's all good. Yeah, looks good. Yeah, let's see. And maybe go to some of those. Mm -hmm. So um, I will um, I'll go ahead and start with um, the merit awards. Um, so uh, the merit awards uh, for the, the All Media 2022 exhibition. Um, the first merit award goes to Bug Face by Sydney Weitz. The piece is uh, woven glass beads and a silicone box. We'll probably talk about that's a really it's a really interesting work. Um, the second merit award that we have for the show this year is um, Paris in Flowers by Joshua Heath. This is an oil on canvas piece that we'll look at in the gallery too. The third merit award um, is Mobile Brain. By Ashley Miller, which is a uh, medium for that is smoked. Um, the fourth merit award uh, will be Hiddenness. It's one of our 3D our sculpture pieces um, by Jessica Mole. It's silver, copper, glass lens, and amethyst geo. Um, and then the last merit award um, is Ova, and it's also Jessica Mole. And this is copper, silver, moonstones, and Labrador. We want to look at some of the merit awards and then move sure. to the best yeah. So, all right, okay. So, oh, I think it was okay. First, we're going to probably move into the main. Yeah. yeah. So, I. I want to hear the audience's thought on this piece before I talk a little bit. So is anybody interested in telling me what they see? What do you see in this piece? So this one was chosen for a merit award. Can anybody tell me why they think maybe I would have selected for a merit award? And there's no wrong answers. Just, just say it. Some of these artists are here watching us and they would love to hear your comments. Don't know how people are talking about the work, especially when they're not here. So, anybody want to begin? Maybe I'll break the okay, ice. Okay, break the ice. You guys so come on. When, you know when, I, when I look at this piece, I do see some, there's some pretty exquisite metalworking yeah. in that, in that so. piece with, with copper and silver. So I'm going to call on students. Okay, so, yeah. so copper and silver, it's called Ova. What do you think of that? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what's going on. What? Looks like an A. Right. You know, I guess for me, this piece, I mean, how exquisite 
just like Greg was saying, I mean, the, the refinement of the work and the skill. And the right, I don't know which one. Involved in creating things like this is very simple. I'm attracted to that. And I think this person has, has done so. Um, it's small scale. When I first saw it walking in, honestly, I walked by it. I couldn't see it. It wasn't like in my face. But when you're looking at it and you see it involved in it, it also is feminine to me, you know, it has feminine qualities to it. It's precious. I see that. So I feel like this artist really deserves that. You don't see this very often in art galleries, are I don't run into work like this very often. Do you guys? Not necessarily no. frequently. Uh -uh. She has entered a piece in one of the shows before. So we've seen one of her works before at the art center. But but not normally kind of like small metal metalworking like this. It's mm -hmm. usually, you know, maybe cast oh, sculpture okay. yeah. sometimes. Yeah, and I don't think this was cast at all. No. I mean, the time it took to, to bend and fold and create the movement and the marks and this leaf that's folding over this rod. That's the way I see that. It's just a skill that so she definitely deserves some recognition for that. I'm going to move on to yeah. the next Let's one. Let's move on okay. to this one. Now, right. I hope you guys have something to say about this. <laughs> Yeah. I would just kind of hold it like this. What do you see? I can just tell something coming out of that. Talk to me. This. Is it Kihon Wiley? That artist, he's an African American artist. He um, is of our time, a contemporary artist that did these beautiful floral um, damas, almost painting African American royalty, but sitting them in royal positions with this fabulous wallpaper behind them. And it was wonderful, wonderful portraiture. Are y'all familiar with his work? Yes. Am I saying his name properly? Yeah. yeah. So I think of that a little bit in this, but I, I just think also um, the perspective of this is a little bit more of the foreground. It kind of slides down, and again, it's androgynous. It's called Paris and Flowers. Just think it's really well done. Both pieces, I had a hard time deciding between these two. I love them both, and they're both very lifelike and profound and attractive to me. So do we want to go to, I'm trying to remember which was the other merit. Oh, this concrete yeah. piece. This is a simple one. Uh, you guys tell me what to make of it. It's really super small. I had to do it. I had to, had to give this a merit. I've not seen these many cast iPhones and concrete. And I feel like this will go down in history one way or the other. And it could be 300 years from now, 500 years from now, that this is going to be in a collection somewhere one day. It just document our time. 
But what do you think it means when the iPhone is cast in concrete? What does that say? What does that do? How has it changed? Anybody have any thoughts on that? Does that mean it's here to stay? It's here to stay. Yes. There's a permanence, but I also see it as like this, this heavy weight. I think I think of concrete as being heavy. Like a Nokia. Like a Nokia. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's a simple, simple piece, but I think it's brilliant. And the reason I think it's brilliant is no one has done it yet that I have seen. You know, it reminds me of when Jackson Pollock came out, you know, when he's ripping all the paint. He was a classical artist. He was trained classically, he could do portraiture, could do all these things. And then he decided, I'm just gonna start smoking cigarettes and propane all over the canvas very quickly. And people wanna say, oh, but I could do that. Yes, we could do that, but we didn't. We did not do that before this person did. So I'm impressed by that, like to me, bravo. If anybody else is passing out there, like if anybody's watching this or hearing me on the waves, I wanna know about it, because I've not seen it yet, so. I had to give that a warning. Our phones are causing a lot of trouble in our world, I feel like. And in technology, we all is a necessary evil. But it's, yeah, it's got its issues. That's a whole nother topic. It could take a lifetime to discuss. <laughs> you know? I like the plan where it's this little brick, cement, it's a brick, but then like they can modernize it. I don't know what that's like. Yeah, I know, right? Okay. So, so, I you want to talk about should we the so last one? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. I think okay. for the sake of time and, and interest, it's, it's um, yeah. So, the, the best of show, so the best of show, um, you know, on occasion, we've awarded just to a single artwork. Yeah. On occasion, it's also been um, awarded to uh, some of the partners that can be put multiple pieces into the show. Um, so the best of show for the All Media 2022 uh, is Don Robson um, for his pieces that are actually kind of here. Yeah. Sacrifice, work, and regret. So this will be, this is what, some that we'll need to talk about. Yes, I hope we spend some time talking about this. So I selected this as best to show. Can anybody give any idea, even good, bad, or indifferent, why you would think I would have selected this for best to show? Okay. You know, it's to some, I mean, to me, I mean, there's a, there's a level of disturbance, of course, but this work out of the entire show to me is the most compelling. Rendered very well. This person has a great sense of anatomy and he's dealing a lot with the skeleton, of course, because these are really, really thin figures. Um, I like the elements of the ballerina, the shoe, the ballerina. What's happening to these figures? You have, it gives me, I have compassion and empathy. I think the empathy comes, I feel like I can feel their pain. I can feel the pain personally of these, these figures. And so I can't stop looking at them. They're, they're scary to look at. Uh, they're frightening, but I feel like those, those elements are not shown enough in fine art sometimes. You have to see these things to try to understand humanity. Without it, things do not change. You must face it. And that's how serious it is to me when I look at these works. But from a technical standpoint, I, I like his line work, the thick to thin lines. He's, he's done additive and subtractive process in the way that he's applied the paint. So it's graphite ink and acrylic paint. I've never used graphite ink. I don't know what that is. I don't know if you grind it and just take a paintbrush with some water and crawl with it. I don't know. So I'm kind of intrigued by that. I think the scale is very nice. And then, of course, one of these symbols is that a period. Oh, is that semicolon? Something we said, yeah. And then the percent sign. 
So he's pointing to something with these pieces, but he's not giving us the full answer. You know, of course I go to the Holocaust, I start thinking of things like that, um, but that's not what this is. I think these are, these are things that are happening in our culture today, but what is it? So I selected this as the best of show because it makes me think deeper than any other piece that's in the show, personally. Any comments on it? So we heard disturbing. I think you had mentioned, is that the word you used earlier? Shocking. Shocking. But it's a sunny new idea. Yeah. yeah. And I did it Yeah. But also leaning um, on things, social sure. problems yes. that we're dealing with today. Yeah. Yeah. Like the leaders wanting to make sure we can. Exactly. Um, and fed on in. Know what's happening in the world in terms of hunger and chaos. Yeah. And then at the same time, you know, you might be like, maybe think of a museum of like our organs and body. Yeah, they're very cold here, you know, sort of display of like a very scientific hold, but uh, at the same time, it's very disturbing. Yeah, yeah, and very. Uh, um, Secondly, not really looking at it from a point of view of humanity, but as this is best. Yes, definitely. I mean, because you wonder where these, yeah, so these deceased people that he looked at to paint. I mean, you know, where did that come from? I, the face on this is it just is so eerie. There's so much movement; it's distorted. Um, but I can't stop looking at them. You know. I can't stop looking at these pieces. Uh -huh. Yeah. What were you going to say? I thought I would um, feel that they could be classical and the effects that have some of those on the world scale. Such as sacrifice, it could be someone who might get out of the situation they're in with the fame being about freedom. Right. Um, the child work because. Um, it's always expected on a child to be better than their parents. What work do they have if they do not succeed where their parents fail? Uh -huh. And I'm not quite sure for the middle of regret, maybe regretting the past, maybe regretting um, choosing one option when they could have chosen a better option that may have gotten them out of the situation that they're in. Right. Was that choice, you know, or something? Like a lot of mothers will choose to have a child rather than continue their career. And right. some have regrets about not regret about the child, but regrets of not following their dreams. So do you guys see now? You guys spoke more about this work of art than anything else we discussed. Nobody really had anything to say. That's why this one to me, there's a lot that can be said. I think you could sit and look at these for a really long time. Um, also, just from a classical drawing perspective, they have anatomy down quite well. But they also were quite loose with their lines. This is, is still really attractive to me, even though it, it has you know, a, a level of grotesque to it or abject, the abject and the beauty combined. Very good challenge. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. And I think that's what art, there's a place for that, and it's necessary in fine art that these things are, are shown. It's not always about the beauty. You don't know what beauty is without the object. You do not know what one is without the other, and they go hand in hand. Give Sarah a hand for. Just point to me if you have any questions or you'd like to hear uh, Sarah's thoughts on any of the pieces that are in the show. Um, we can talk about that. Um, I'm going to see if we have anything from our, our artists, artists that are attending. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Um, so we do have a couple of artists that are attending to the show. One here, um, but then also, um, so it, 
if you go to that and recognize the name, you want to ask them about the pieces on the certain issues. Okay. 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 Yeah, we um, have great. Yeah. So, yeah. so we have um, a similar one. We have um, Evans is here. Um, so oh, here. Yeah. So that piece. Yeah. 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 So it gets it on that side again. My tip and then on the hard of the and I'm not certain this meeting. That's okay. That's yeah, right. yeah. So I don't know if anybody if anybody wants to turn video on or talk or anything. Um, you guys can also see I have some messages in chat here that I'll check too. Awesome. Oh, it okay. might have might have been me. Thanks. All right. So we'll continue to we'll continue to show the, the exhibition. Um, and if you have any questions, I'll have somebody that'll you know, keep an eye on the chat for uh, Zoom. Um, and you can and ask maybe if you want to see specific. Um, I'll also put the complete exhibition list into the Zoom chat so you can see the pieces. Uh, they're also on the Northwest Star Center. Um, yeah. Thank you, everyone. Great work. Um, yeah, I didn't talk about the feeding program. Yeah. Those are so. So the feel of the weight of them, too. So interesting. Do they usually talk or is it like <laughs> sometimes it's quiet? Sometimes it's interesting. Um, I think I saw that you turned your video on. Um, 
I just wanted to say how much I enjoyed having your, your uh, piece in the show um, and uh, just the, the method of display uh, combined with the paint work. Um, I thought it was a wonderful piece. It was, it was, it was fun to see come in as an entry. It was even, it was even more uh, wonderful to be able to have it and, and hang it in the show. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. It was a lot of work working on it, but um, every little bit was so much fun. <laughs> um, I had to turn the volume off on it. Oh, yeah, I got voice. <laughs> Yeah, the piece was a lot of fun to work on. Um, I've before the series, I've never um, combined beading with my photography, and so when I did, it was like, aha! <laughs> so I've been working on it ever since. Yeah, yeah, I have. It's actually right to the left of me. If it <laughs> Um, I'm going to, I know that there are some questions being asked of uh, uh, Sarah uh, in the gallery right now. So I think I'm going to go ahead and I'll, I'll go back to that audio. Um, you guys can hear any comments about some of the, the pieces in the show. Okay, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> that was such a of things so the Long time now, see. It's been a while. Yeah. It's one year. I am. Yeah, pretty much. It's about time. Right? Yeah. It's cold. I've only been here for almost 10 years. Oh, really? Yeah. That long? Almost. It's been a while. Where are you going? Wyoming. Yeah. I'm going to live with my sister for a while and then I'm off to grad school. Oh, yeah. We only got two more. 
Uh, museum studies. Yeah. Adjacent. Yeah.
<laughs> Hi. Yeah, I think so. Okay, so I know it's exportations there. Basically, the 